Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Alia today, Anwaiguru dumped Jubilee for order. You can see the photos there. A clear indication that Anwaiguru jo has just joined order. Yes. So in this video right now, I want us to really understand what really happened behind the scenes that forced Anwar Guru to dump Jubilee for Uda. And also I want us to have a look at Anwar Guru's chances of beating Wangwengi Rishi for the Uda ticket and eventually her chances of recapturing Kirinyaga gubernatorial seat. That's our analysis and discussion today. So if in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. Thank you. God bless you. Upon William Ruto posting those photos of Anwai Guru just joining Oda, Hours later, or rather minutes later, Honorable Gladys Wanga also posted something through her social media accounts. Have a look at it. Honorable Gladys Wanga, MP, thanking Kirinyaga people for the warm welcome during Mashuja Day. Hashtag Inawezekana. Then you can see there, she has shared that photo of Ngirishi, herself, Wanga, and Martha Karua. Yes. That post speaks volumes. And then also, during this time that Anwe Guru was being welcomed to Uda or in Uda, I would try to go, to go through the photos that were shared, so many photos, but I failed to capture the presence of Wangui English. But I've captured the presence of the likes of Rigadi Gashagwa, Himani Ichungwa, Aisha Jumwa, and some other notable Uda figures, but I've failed to capture Wangui Girish's presence there. That also speaks volumes. But nonetheless, I've gone to Wangui Girish's social media accounts, and I found that she updated something like this. Wangui Ngirishi. Happy birthday, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta. We wish you God's blessings today and every day after and pray for wisdom as you continue to steer Kenya to prosperity. And then she has shared a photo with the president. So Wangui Ngirishi here, is just praying for the president to continue to steer Kenya to prosperity. She's just admitting that the president is doing a good job. Yes. So in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to really understand what made Anwai Guru to dump Jubilee for Uda and what are her chances of capturing Uda party ticket and also recapturing Kirinyaga gubernatorial seat. That's our analysis. I believe there are two things that forced Anwai Guru out of Jubilee Party. Because looking at, or rather studying Anwai Guru's language, I tend to believe that her heart was really in Jubilee Party. And she was trying all she could to remain in Jubilee Party. But all, all in all, she things happened and she's out of Jubilee Party. There are two reasons why she quit Jubilee Party. The first reason is that she has fallen out with the president and she was no longer wanted or rather needed in Jubilee Party. In fact, Jubilee Party wanted a way of doing away, doing away with her, which largely they have succeeded. So Anwai Guru has just played to the whims of very strong, powerful forces 
who wanted her out of Jubilee Party. She has played right into their game. That's the first reason. The second reason, ladies and gentlemen, I believe it because of the Martha Karua influence and also Anu Ongwingirishi's influence and dilly-dallying with some of notable handshake point men or other handshake personalities. That's also another reason that might have scared <coughs> Anu Waiguru to jump or rather to, to, to rather to quit Jubilee Party. I think the dalliance between Martha Karua and Wanguing Rishi with some other notable handshake luminaries might have also scared Anu Waiguru into dumping Jubilee Party. Yes. So what are Anwai Guru's chances of beating Wanguing Rishi for the Uda party ticket? Or what are Anwai Guru's chances of winning Uda party tickets? Yes. From the look of things, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to appear that Anwai Guru might battle it out with Wanguing Rishi for the order party tickets. But th that's just for, to, for now or for today. Because one day in Kenyan politics is like the biblical 1,000 years. But assuming they went head to head with Wanguing Rishi for the order party tickets, what are Anwai Guru's chances of beating Wanguing Rishi? Yes. In the event of that, or rather should that happen, then I strongly believe, ladies and gentlemen, that Anwai Guru will beat Wangui Ngirishi very early in the morning for the order party tickets. And I'm saying this because I'm saying that because of this. If you look at Wangui Ngirishi's development record, even in Kirinyaga, you will largely agree with me that she has done nothing that can make her be elected on the platform of development. Apart from yelling the, the wheelbarrow thing, she has completely done nothing. And also, if you look at Wangui Ngirishi, I don't think or believe she looks like somebody who can be a governor. She's just but a heckler. So I tend to believe that if they go head on with Wangui Ngirishi, then Anwai Guru will beat Wangui Ngirishi. Simply because as we head towards 2022, you know, Wangui Ngirishi has been getting the mileage and the credit because of the Raila phobia that has always been existed, maybe in Kirinyaga. But the phobia is now dying down. And also, if you look at it objectively, Wangui Ngirishi has also been getting credit because Anwe Guru was in the handshake team. She was not in order. So assuming Anwe Guru is in order, I tend to believe residents of Kirinyaga, or rather, order party supporters, are now going to weigh between Anwe Guru and Wangui Ngirishi. Who, who, is, who is the better evil? I tend to believe they will settle for Anu Waiguru, simply because she's now the governor, and also because if you compare her to Girishi, she, ap she appears to be to be a little bit better compared to Wang Wangui Girishi. Yes. So, what are her chances of winning Kirinyaga gubernatorial seat? Assuming now she has won the order ticket. What are, what are her chances of recapturing Kirinyaga gubernatorial seats? I tend to believe, ladies and gentlemen, that Anne Waiguru will fail terribly. In the event she wins order party ticket and then she contests eh, through order for Kirinyaga gubernatorial seats against a strong aspirant, maybe in the make of Martha Karua. She will fail miserably. In fact, Martha Karua will win that seat in the morning. So technically, 
Anwai Guru has just delivered that seat to Martha Karua on a silver platter. And I'm saying that again because of this. In 2017 elections, what made Anwai Guru get elected as the governor was likely because she was really fighting Raila Molo Odinga. At that time, Raila was also very busy fighting Anwai Guru. And there was still the Raila euphoria, or rather Raila phobia, on the mountain, and specifically in Kirinyaga. And also at that time, Uhuru and Raila were on the op opposing sides. So because of sympathy, Anwai Guru might have won that seat as a result of sympathy votes. And if you look at the results, the difference between Anwai Guru and Martha Karua was very, very minimal. And at that time, again, Martha Karua was also seen largely to be more sympathetic to Raila Molo Odinga, after which later she now joined the Uhuru Ruto camp, but she was seen as being a little bit more sympathetic to Raila Molo Odinga. So because of the Raila phobia that existed at that time on the mountain, Anwai Guru was just elected the governor. In 2022, most likely, there will be no phobia on the mountain. In fact, Raila Odinga most likely will win the mountain vote. That's something I've been saying and I'm still repeating. So there will be no euphoria or rather Raila phobia on the mountain and most likely Raila will win that will win the mountain vote. So I tend to believe residents of Kirinyaga will now weigh between Martha Karua and Anwai Guru who can deliver. And if you look at Anwai Guru's development record, for the time she has served as the governor, she has, she has performed dismally. In fact, there was an impeachment motion that was meant to remove her from office because of corruption. And also her development record on the ground is also poor. So I tend to believe the residents of Kirinyaga might decide to go with Martha Karua. And then also Gladys Wanga's post today just confirms the strong effort or rather the powerful forces that might have pushed Anwai Guru out of Jubilee Party. She was no longer wanted in the Jubilee Party. And from the look of things, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to appear that Martha Karua and maybe Ngirishi are being wooed to join maybe the handshake team. I tend to believe so. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did indicate when you were starting, if you've bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. If you are watching us for the very first time outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. For our, to our continued fans and subscribers here, God bless you, God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana.